and let me know if you're sick of talking about this, but you are you're reviewing the the Showtime series. Everything's going to be all white. Uh, and there are a couple of stand up comics on here that I know. I wouldn't say that I'm like good friends with them, but like I definitely I as I saw the trailer, I'm like, oh, God, Amanda Seals is in this. Oh, God, Sherrod Smalls is in this. Like I did his podcast. All right. I'm not and I'm definitely not trying to like name drop like these are these are definitely not my friends. But I was like, oh, I've just from 10 years of doing comedy uh, in New York. I was like, oh, these are names I recognize. And your critiques have been absolute fire from the trailer to now. Are you going to keep up, um, you know, reviewing each episode? Uh-uh. No way. No, <laughs> no you're like, not. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. No, one was <laughs> enough. I just wanted to confirm my thoughts on what I saw in the trailer. If this was just, you know, a racist piece of garbage. And, and it was. Uh, but yeah, I don't have no desire to torture myself any further. Yeah. Um, what did you think anything differently from watching the trailer than from when you started watching episode one? No, I mean, I actually I want to give you a question, uh, because as someone who is a comedian, do you find it weird that like, did you expect this from people that, you know, in the in the industry? Yeah, I am not surprised. And and like. Okay, honestly, I don't know these people personally, I but I know how comedians are, and there's a lot of comedians that's like, we'll do anything for a paycheck, we'll do anything for a TV credit. Um, I don't know if they are actually racist, um, but then I'm sure, you know, it's a very, like... <sighs> You, well, you know the deal. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, black people can't be racist. It's uh, just impossible. Oh. So, you know, if you were to add, if you were to put it to them that way, they'd be like, oh, no, we're just speaking truth. Who knows? Like, what difference does it make if it's actually how they feel or if they're just like, oh, yeah, right. we'll, we'll put this on for a paycheck. And I and I was watching it and I was like, oh, Amanda Seals normally talks like with like grammatically correct speech. Like she sounds educated. She sounds like. She, you know what I mean? She's a professional performer. She speaks well. And I was noticing in the trailer, I'm like, oh, she's sounding like a lot more like, <laughs> I don't know, the way that she's putting on a bit of like an urban twang, I guess. I don't know, to impress people, to sell it more. Maybe it's just a role she's playing. But she's like, oh, I ain't got time for that. I was like, this isn't how she speaks. Like, yeah, I mean, I because I got the well, my vibe that I was getting from it was that without knowing who any of these people were it seemed like it was just a paycheck and it was like they say documentary on it but i'm watching it and like the, the way that they're talking about their experiences as as black people seemed over dramatized like they're trying to get get you to feel something on your heartstrings and i'm like i am having a hard time sympathizing with people uh, based on like what they're talking about when all of these people are celebrities here. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't see the struggle. Yeah, no. And, and uh, it just seems pretty crazy. Like, and I'm, I'm watching this going like, isn't this a little late? Like, wouldn't this series be, be best? Wouldn't it have been better to come out like the summer or the fall of 2020 when like everyone was like obsessing over, over race again after the George Floyd thing. And I'm like, it just seems like, a little late especially now that we've had like a lot of time go by where every single corporation is is catering to to to, to i mean i feel like it's a lot of pandering to black people i feel like now we've seen a lot of commercials um very much pandering to black people i'm seeing a lot more like it to me it just seem I, it looks like a noticeable change but it's like so these changes have been made in our pop culture and now this comes out like this series where it's it, it's almost like oh are we are, they're talking like it's like we're still in the 50s or something right yeah and so we're, we're it's, not it's uh, it's it's very tone deaf it's uh it's a lot of things but yeah i suspect they're trying to i, I think the purpose of the documentary is to keep like keep milking that racial tension that kind of happened in 2020 because I, I don't know because otherwise I don't I don't I don't see the reason for it and it's it's just crazy that like I think you saw like Amanda Seals blocked me so <laughs> yeah <laughs> which is so you on Twitter when did you notice that I know so I kept getting tagged in my own video people were tagging me and her in the same posts you're like and yes like, I know I made it <laughs> right 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 and I'm like oh because I didn't know who any of these people were in the documentary I had no idea I just knew they were celebrities. That's it. So 
I saw one of the posts and I clicked on her. It says I'm blocked. I'm like, hold on a second, wait. And I don't know if I'm just fascinated because I didn't, I didn't think I had as much reach, I guess. But it also confirms that I don't think these people actually believe what they're saying because if you're confident in what you're talking about, why, why hide? Yeah. So, so you're taking her blocking you as hiding instead of like, hey, if she's really, if she really feels this way, why not have hey. a Anything from an open dialogue to a messy public, you know, Twitter thread about it. Go yeah. back and forth or, or get in the, your DMs and if, if she really cares. But to me, that says, like, she must have been tagged so many times. That right. She's like, I'm so sick of just seeing Gothic's name. I just she just had to block it, I guess. Because I'm not I'm not going to be bothered to reach out to someone like that anyway. Like, I'm going to give my two cents. Like, I'm not going to approach you. So the fact that she was doing it preemptively, I'm like, Okay, I don't, I don't know what I did, lady. I'm just, I'm just reacting. Isn't that the point? Movie mm -hmm. reviews, isn't that what I'm doing? Wow, it's interesting. And then just, and then so you wrote an open letter to yeah. her. It was this as a response to seeing that she blocked you. Yeah, yeah. I can, uh, I can sympathize when I, I, I've been in the middle of like cancel culture. Like I've had people harass me and and as much as she's said some terrible things in in this documentary i also don't believe that people should be fighting fire with fire and like stooping low to using the same tactics that the other side is using because that's not going to solve anything and it's just going to keep this cycle of like revenge going so i just wrote an open letter saying like you know, listen, if you do happen to see this, uh, we can fix this. Um, and mm -hmm. also trying to encourage other people like, you know, like I said, not to stoop, not to stoop to that level, but criticism is different. And I think people have to understand that that criticism and just hating someone online and harassing them, that's totally different things. Um, and I don't know if she read it. Who knows? Maybe. Right. You had it on your locals. I'm going to pop it up on the screen really quick, just so if people don't subscribe to the locals they should um it's a good spot i take no pride in celebrating when people block me on twitter in fact i sympathize with them because i've personally been dragged numerous times online and can relate to blocking people for the sake of shielding my mental health from the barrage of hurtful tweets i've since learned to stand my ground against the mob but again i can certainly understand why amanda seals decided to block me yes i'm talking about the lady in the pink shirt from everything's gonna be all white trailer for the record i don't want people to attack her that's really good that you said that gothics because i think there's a lot of um fans especially guy fans and i've noticed as someone who does have a lot of like guy fans myself i think there is something about being a guy and you see like your female you know yeah person that you like or like their content there's something in a guy that makes oh i gotta stick up for her or like she's in trouble or you know that sort of like protecty instinct so and sometimes that can go south and that's nice that you said like you don't need to do this for me you don't have to go after her right yeah um yeah i don't want people to attack her as much as i was appalled with what she said in the trailer being equally as vicious towards her isn't going to unite us because fear and hostility are never good motivators to make positive impacts in the world she was already hateful in the trailer let's not add to it yeah that's like a very mature very mature open letter i'm sh i mean how could she not have seen it you know <laughs> yeah i think i think she did i mean granted yeah. she <laughs> she said some mean things after the fact of writing that like i'm not it is what it is like i'm not gonna i don't ch think any differently after she's kind of proceeded to just be you know doubling down on her hate online but i mean it's i i think people like that they'll expose themselves over time if you give it a little bit of time and you, you can see it in the the ratings nobody is enjoying it <laughs> nobody yeah. likes it I'm I'm sure that comes as a surprise to them because I mean I thought people would enough people would have like eaten this up like it's just it almost feels just like hate watching I don't know the way that but how can this make anybody feel good I just don't know what good this a series like this does for anybody right well that's what I always ask whenever i see things like that is like what is the purpose what is the end goal of this i don't care about the intention like what is happening you have you have to consider that like uh because i don't see how anyone could look at that and say oh yeah this is gonna unite people this is gonna make people feel good it's 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 not it's terrible 